Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you static uchikomi. What, what is it? Okay, so the theory behind static uchikomi is in Germany, it's what I heard from my coaches, there's 200 people on the map. There's people, that's their first week of judo. These people have been doing it for three months. These guys have been doing it for 10 years. So the best way to make sure everyone is on the same page is you static uchikomi. All right, so, but, uh, and that way it's controlled. Okay, and it is, it makes sense. Getting a beginner to do move uchikomi um, is a lot harder for them and that sort of stuff. So we're going to start with uch static uchikomi. What is it? So Liam's standing nice and square. Okay, and I just come in, I get a grip wherever I like. Okay, now already, uh, Liam's a cooperative partner, and this DVD is about having a cooperative partner, okay? So, Liam is just nice, he's receiving the throw, he's standing there nicely, he's, he's allowing me to throw him. If he's resistant of the throw, or he's moving around, that tells me he doesn't like being thrown. If you don't like being thrown, go do some cartwheels, handstands, forward rolls, tumbles, to break falls, to learn how to th and get thrown a heap of time so you become nice and relaxed, okay? So, standing for me what it is, it's just reps. Okay, so rather than me and Liam turning up and training, we're just going to rep out. Okay, now first things first, a throw. A throw is broken down into three or four components. The first one is the entry and the break balance. And, and some throws, the entry come, the break balance comes first, other throws it comes at the same time, other throws it comes later. So each throw is different. Okay, but you know, essentially, I'm breaking Liam's balance for this throw. Now you stay here because that's part of the Chicago DVD is uh, we want to keep him where I'm going to be fighting him, okay? Um, I want him to break his balance. I need to enter, I throw, and then we do a transition into the ground. So there's break balance, entry, throw, and now was a armbar strangle turnover, or armbar strangle hold down to finish. There's the four elements of a throw. What you call me though, often people practice the entry and the throw and they miss the breaking the balance, the kazushi element, okay? so. For example, I've seen people on uh, YouTube, top level judo players, doing this. Well, I'll just sh I'll show you, and we'll, and we'll talk about it. So, looks looks pretty good. Or this, I might go this way. Okay, it looks pretty smooth and all the rest of it. But the problem is, no kazushi. No kazushi. So it looks good, but. There's no breaking of the balance. If I did any of those reps on Liam in Randuri, he would pick me up and throw me through the wall, okay? I need to break his balance depending on what throw it is. So, I tell people all the time, his head has to move. If his head is still, it's him not breaking his balance, okay? His head has to move, which means, so a few different things. Firstly, if Liam is standing there, and I'll do, I'll do it with my Sinagi, and he can think about his food tomorrow and whatever, and he's, this, this battle's coming. Because his head's not moving. As soon as Liam's head starts moving, you can all of a sudden start seeing him now. He's like, I'm actually going to control. He's going to actually control himself. Look, it's moving. So, firstly, and we can get into like, um, what breaking balance actually is. So for example, is this really off balance? Or is it off balance when I stumble? Okay, so can kind of talk about all the different ways of what it actually means, the point of off balance, what it all looks like. But essentially, so many people do a chikomi, and the partner head is like this. And they can just chill out. But as soon as Liam's head's moving, he's way more off balance. If Liam is upright like this, he's in a strong position. If he's, if he's like this doing squats, I'd be, he'd be happy with this. If Liam's like this doing squats, like this doing squats, like this doing squats, like this, he's not happy because you, he's all his structure and posture is broken. Okay, so when you're at the club, when you're at, training at home, wherever you are, actually ask for feedback from your partner. Okay, so um, ask them, how's that feel? If they go, oh, yeah, I'm not really, is their head moving? So I'll just yell out in, the, in, the, in classes, his head's not moving, isn't it? Make their head move. So let's look at, um, I'll do, Marauder Sinagi, okay? It leaves, head's moving. His head's moving. Uh, Osotagari, I know I've done it before. His head's moving. His head's moving. What's another one? Haragoshi? No. Hara. His head's moving. His head's moving, okay? Um, opposed to, I'll do Harai, repping out. Like, his head's not moving. What other one? 
Now do a bad one. And but make it look good. See, this looks great, but I can relax and I'm not really moving around. I mean, your partner has to move around. Once they move around, your rich commie is going to be more effective uh, because they're off balance. And that means when you go to Randori, you won't be entering for these crazy awesome fast throws and the partner's like this, whatever. All of a sudden, they're moving and their head's off balance. So that's the first part of static Uchikomi. What it's used for, how it works, and the number one problem is people's heads not moving properly.